Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kirsten here. And today I have a recipe for smothered turkey wings that I will be sharing for you, with y'all. It's right in time for Thanksgiving because I think it's a good option for instead of a whole big turkey, especially if you have a smaller family. Also, this is a Sunday dinner meal um, that you can have with your family or any time that you would like to cook this, you can cook it. And it's definitely filling and is made with love yes it's one of them good old down home cooked meals so i'm excited to share with y'all so thank you for watching again and the ingredients that i made this recipe with will be in the description box okay let's jump right into seasoning these bad boys and i'm going in with some complete seasoning i actually found some complete seasoning that has adobo in it so I am obsessed with this seasoning. This is my new seasoning. So I'm just sprinkling it all over and I'm going to season these very, very well because we want all the flavors to be coming through. Because <laughs> since they're smothered, I'm going to be making a gravy and the gravy is needs to be seasoned well. So I'm just sprinkling some poultry seasoning in right after my complete with the adobo. And then I'm going to put in some Creole seasoning. My good old faithful. Sprinkle it. Be generous with it. <laughs> I'm going to give it a good stir to see how it's coating my turkey wings. And these turkey wings are huge, so yeah. I'm just gonna mix, 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 mix. I just normally eyeball my seasonings. I don't have any specific measurements. I just make sure that everything is nice and coated evenly. And I am mindful of which seasonings contain, contain salt. So just need to be mindful with that. And like I said before, since these are pretty big, I am season it, seasoning it very well. And I'm mindful of my gravy. Because there's going to be a lot of turkey stock that cooks out to make my gravy. Going in with a little bit more poultry seasoning, the adobo with the complete, complete with the adobo. Some more Creole. I'm just stirring it some more to make sure that every wing is nice and coated with my seasoning. The complete seasoning basically is a combination of many different seasons like garlic powder, onion powder. It also has parsley. It's just a good all-around seasoning, so if you ever see it in the store, give it a try. It's definitely worth the buy. For this meal, I'm making two packs of turkey wings, and each pack of turkey wings had two big wings in them, and I just cut them into pieces. Now that my turkey wings are all seasoned, I'm taking a medium to large onion and I'm just going to dice it into pretty big dices. So I'm just chopping it up. Add them right to the crock pot slow cooker with the turkey wings. Next, I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup and also a can of cream of celery. This will definitely, definitely, definitely help out to the creaminess of the gravy and also enhance the flavor of it. Whenever I'm smothering or baking something, I really do like to add um, cream of mushroom or cream of celery to it. It is very good for a base for gravies. So I'm just going to stir and mix and make sure that gravy gets on every piece of my turkey wings. And now we're just going to put a lid on it. And I am going to be cooking these turkey wings for a total of 6 hours. I am starting off with 4 hours first on the high setting. On to my sides. First side is some cabbage. And I have some smoked turkey necks that I am going to be put in some water to boil. I just fill the bottom of my pot with water. I got three of them and I like to season um, the pot very well. I put some salt, some steak seasoning, some black pepper, and a little bit of crushed red pepper. Garlic powder as well. 
give it a good stir and I'm going to let this boil while I chop up my cabbage. So now that that is just boiling, I am going to be cutting up a cabbage. And I lost some footage here, so <laughs> this is all I got of um, me cutting the cabbage. I'm just cutting the color out and then cutting it into basically squares, bite-sized pieces. So the cabbage is all cut up and I'm just going to toss them into this pot, well seasoned pot at that, with these turkey necks. They have been boiling for about 15-20 minutes. Tossing them right in. I rinse my cabbage too, that's another thing. Always wash your vegetables or anything that you're cooking with, always give it a good rinse. So I washed it and then I just put all my cabbage in. I season it with some salt. I'm using some steak seasoning. Steak seasoning gives a good flavor to my cabbage and I've always used it, used it so that's what I add. Some more garlic powder. I'm basically putting in the same seasonings I did as the water for it to boil. Putting on the lid and letting it steam until it's nice and soft and tender. So with my turkey wings, they've been cooking for four hours. And basically when I cook my turkey wings, it's a two-step process. Because in the crock pot, I don't get that baked color that I want. But I do achieve the tenderness that I would like. And I can just put on the crock pot and forget about it. So what I'm going to do, I am going to now put it into a glass baking dish. And I'm just going to toss it right in there. And I am going to bake this for another 30 to 40 minutes. And I will create my gravy while it's in the oven as well. And it will thicken and it will become smothered turkey wings. So I'm adding another can of cream of mushroom soup to make it even creamier with my gravy. So I'm just throwing that in there and I'm not really mixing it well in because obviously my pan is very full but we're gonna work with it and the more gravy you have the merrier because when I tell you this gravy is bomb it is bomb and literally if you're baking anything if you're smothering anything you can definitely put this gravy with it so with this gravy you will not be disappointed trust me I'm just I tasted my um, turkey wings and I'm just adjusting my seasonings now I added some more Creole and some more salt Yep, and I'm just mixing that in. took two tablespoons of flour and some water and I just created what they call a slurry and now I'm going to put that in with my turkey rings. This will act as a thickening agent for my gravy. Give it a slight stir. My pan is full. <laughs> but we gonna, like I said, we're going to work with it. Because this turned out amazing. This is so good. Stir, stir, stir. And like I said, I just let them bake in the oven for about 30 to 45 more minutes. Now on to my next side. I'm going to be making some candy yams. And I just peeled them and I'm going to cut them up. I just like cut them up into these rings like this. This is how I like it. So this is how I'm making it. And if you choose to cut them in chunks, you can do that as well.
Next I'm going in with some brown sugar and I just add enough brown sugar to coat the potatoes evenly. Just watching this is making me think of Thanksgiving and I cannot wait until Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. It is one of my favorite holidays because it's a time to gather with family and friends and eat good food and yes, good food, good food. So I cannot wait. So this is kind of like a preview to Thanksgiving. <laughs> As you saw, I put in some cinnamon, just a sprinkle of it, and I really do not like to use nutmeg in my candy yam, so I just use the brown sugar, the cinnamon, and some butter. So now I have some butter that I cut up, and I'm placing that all around my sweet potatoes. And you just want to place it all around in your dish. And I just cooked my yams for about 40 minutes until the potatoes were soft. And I, I like to cook on high heat, so I cooked them on about 400 degrees, like I said, for 40 minutes until my potatoes are soft. And that my sauce is basically syrupy. I added some more cinnamon as well. Since I put my yams in the oven, I am checking on my turkey wings and it is coming along nicely. My gravy is thickening up. So, yes. And my turkey wings are fall off the bone. They're so delicious. So delicious. So the food is done and we're ready to eat. My turkey wings are looking nice and delicious. They have a nice golden brown color on them. My gravy is nice and thick and smooth. And yes, just look at that. I love this gravy so much. It is very good. Like I said, try it, try it, try it. Try it on anything like baked chicken, smother pork chops. This is the same way. Just smother them. They're going to be good. <laughs> So the turkey wings are done and nice and tender, gravy delicious, yams looking good and sweet and hot. I also made some rice to go with my turkey and my gravy, turkey wings. My cabbage is done. And now it's just time to eat. We really enjoyed this meal per usual. And if you give this uh, meal a try, just give me a comment down below and let me know how you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, thank you for watching.